Well, evidently they tell me I'm colorblind because I can only see things through my straight white filter. <laughs> the city of Chicago has been gracious enough, I'm so honored, to let me give Lori Lightfoot's farewell speech. And I'm so honored to do so. Okay, it's not true at all. But if you do know anybody out there in Chicago, you're going to want to send them this video because you ain't going to get any kind of satisfaction out of anything you watch more than you will this. Just don't say Beetlejuice three times, right? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. See, nothing happens. Oh God. <laughs> this little woke experiment just goes to prove how much everybody out there in Chi-Town can't stand Lori Lightfoot. I don't know if you put two and two together, but she lost her bid for re-election on the last day of Black History Month. <laughs> so you know she must have been really bad. It turns out that little Miss Box Checker over here, it turns out, little lady, that gender, orientation, and race can't save you from crap performance. You thought it could though, didn't you? Here's the secret to winning any election, and I don't care what political party you're with. The secret to getting reelected anytime is to make people feel safer, happier, and better than they did in the previous terms. Now let's not get excited at all because Chicago is just gonna replace her with another Democrat. Well played, Chicago. <laughs> it's like a woman who's got been in an abusive relationship with a white guy, and all of a sudden she leaves him and then she goes and finds another boyfriend, and he's abusive as well, but he's Puerto Rican this time, so it's different. Mama, I can change him, just give me two weeks, and it's totally different this time. Chicago is in an abusive relationship with all mayors that they've had for a long, long time. You know, I got a great friend down, um, I say down there, up there in Chicago, and he said he used to visit, you know, regularly downtown. He used to go to the Cubs games. He used to go to Navy Pier. Buddy guys, he used to shop on Michigan Ave. Y'all know what I'm talking about if you live up there. You know, his favorite mode of transportation was to go on foot, which nowadays makes about as much sense as a trap door on a canoe. No way in hell you'd ever do something like that. The Lightfoot experiment worked about as well as asking a rapper in a VIP club lounge to keep an eye on your wife real quick while you run to the bathroom. Ain't nobody gonna do that. I believe nearly any human being at this point could do a better job than Lightfoot. I mean, even if they ain't great, they're not gonna like outright promote crime and promote violence and refused to be interviewed by white people. You remember that for a time? She refused to be interviewed by white people? Chicago is a very beautiful city. It's sitting on the lakes, you know, and she did nothing but promote herself the whole time, ignore the evil that took over, and cause people and businesses to move out. So if you don't respect the people that pay taxes, then you don't deserve, you absolutely deserve to get your ass whooped in an election. I find it very ironic that she was hired for the color of her skin and ousted for the content of her character. Oh my God, Martin Luther King Jr. is rolling over in his dadgum grave. He's like, you, the manual's upside down. Turn it over, turn it over. I think um, Chicago is probably better run during the Capone administration, if you really want an honest opinion here. At least the hitmen back then wore suits and they had sharp looking haircuts. You know, they look good. Lightfoot looks like that voodoo doll that gothic chick had clipped to her Jansport backpack back in eighth grade. You remember what I'm talking about? Without fail, Beetlejuice, <coughs> excuse me, Lori <laughs> says the reason she lost election is because she's a black woman in America. Pulling that race card once again. Yes, darling, please educate me on why Chicagoans are racist because they didn't want 70 homicides every single weekend. Careful, y'all, because stupidity is very contagious. I have a heartfelt love to everybody up there that's dealing with this stuff in Chicago. Here I am in the deep, deep south of Mississippi. And for whatever reason, reasons known only to the Almighty, my number one demographic in all of the USA is, you guessed it, Chicago. That's because people on the front lines of tyranny sometimes need to drink a little bit extra jet fuel in the morning to get going. So Buddy Brown videos get prescribed by doctors up there. <laughs> I love y'all, stay strong, and just for the love of God, don't say Beetlejuice three times. It's worse than a Ouija board on Halloween. Um, also, my podcast is getting huge. Y'all are to thank for that. So I uh, just did number episode, uh, I think seven, yesterday. So get into that. If you got a 30 minute drive, you're gonna love it and enjoy it. Farewell, Lori, farewell. Thank you.